Hello, hi, this is Stephanie from Our Natural Wisdom. Welcome, welcome. This is my weekly Instagram Live, and I love to focus on helping you reclaim your peace through Mother Earth. My work is especially resonant for women who are anxious perfectionists. Many of my clients are, I am. <laughs> so a lot of my um, teachings that I share and the simple practices that I share are really focused on women who are anxious perfectionists. Thanks for joining everybody. Hi Kay, hi Mark, thank you for joining. So today I wanted to um, share a bit about how spending time mindfully in nature can really help us observe our thoughts. And why is this important? Because our thoughts create our feelings and our feelings create our actions. They are what determine the actions that we take in our life. And our actions create the results that we achieve in our life in all aspects, whether it's personal or um, you know, within your family unit or professional. There is a clear chain of understanding this process. It begins with your thinking about your circumstances your thinking determines how you feel, your feelings determine the actions that you take, and the actions you take determine your results. Now, I know that sounds like a lot to take in, but I'm going to be providing you some examples of how you can apply this awareness to your life. And this especially is helpful for those of us who are on the journey of dealing with anxiety. I have chronic anxiety and it has really helped me. This is, it's truly thought management is what we're talking about. It's becoming the, the leader of your brain, okay? And it is so powerful and so empowering as a result. So, um, Yesterday, I was on a walk. I love walking. It's such wonderful exercise. And I was in a natural area that I walk through on a regular basis. And as I was walking and thinking, and you know how walking can be so meditative. It's like you get into that rhythm, especially if you don't have to be like stopping at stoplights and stop signs and being aware of everything around you all the time. When you're out in nature and walking and you have that... Um, the ability to step into a place of like a meditative state. Um, and sidebar, I, I love walking meditations. I have, I can meditate in like a quiet, like just sitting, but it's hard for me. It might be hard for you too. I think that it's just the way my brain is wired that it's, I have so many things that come up into my head and it can be really hard to release them when I'm in a quiet sitting kind of meditation. And what I have realized for myself, at least at this season of my life, is that it really helps me to be in a walking meditation because it keeps things flowing and active. And like I experienced yesterday during my walk, I became aware that I was cycling through a number of emotions and in a short amount of time too. I mean, in like maybe a 15 minute span of time, I could feel that I was experiencing uh, joy and delight and curiosity. I was also experiencing sadness, grief, fear, um, you know, anxiety in, the sh in just a short amount of time. Now, this is normal. This is normal for all of us. We experience a range of emotions throughout our typical days. And if we're not aware of where these emotions, where these feelings come from and are generated from, they can easily side rail us into, um, you know, spiraling into greater anxiety, spiraling into a lot of fear, spiraling into deep sadness and, and grief and all of those things are okay. These are, they're heavy emotions, but they're not bad. They are emotions that we are meant to experience. 
When we're in nature, it allows us to move these emotions through our body. And what do I mean by that? <laughs> Mr. Wren just sat right above the camera, so you're gonna be hearing the Wren song. What do I mean by that? We can allow ourselves to, when we are aware of an emotion that you're feeling, think to open yourself up to what is the thought that I just experienced that generated this emotion? I mean, for me, it was, um, you know, wow, this is a beautiful day. What a beautiful flower. Oh, I wonder what that flower is. And then it started going into, I, I want to keep walking like this when my daughter is out of school. Is she going to want to join me? What if she doesn't join me? What if I have to be stuck at home? Uh, and then all of these different things start coming up. And then I was like, I miss my mom. She's been um, gone for 12 years almost. She transitioned from her physical body. And so then I was like, oh, I miss my mom. I wish I could go for walks with my mom. And, um, you know, and then it was like, but my mom is always with me. So there was like all of these emotions. And I'm just, this is like in a 15 minute span of time, right? So when we become aware of the thoughts that trigger certain emotions, whether emotions that you consider to be positive and uh, preferred or emotions that feel heavy and, and difficult, when you're aware of the thought that generates it, it automatically places you in a position of being so much more empowered to intentionally decide what you want to be thinking and what you want to be feeling in your life. When we're outside in nature, we are able to breathe in that life force energy. We're able to connect with the earth. You can feel how with every footfall, you can tap into your beautiful roots of light that extend from your physical body down into the earth. You can imagine that with every footfall, you're breathing with mother earth. And this creates a lot of flow, a lot of movement that really supports you in not only your awareness of your emotions and your thought patterns that are coming up, but also in allowing them to move through your body, not to push them away and um, dismiss them, but to allow them to just work their way through your body and it's all energy. Every emotion is a vibration. It is a vibration that we sense within our body. And when we allow ourselves to experience that vibration and feel it, not push it away, it will be, it just moves through us with so much greater ease and flow it allows us to fully experience the joys and the positive emotions, and it allows us to move through the heavier emotions that much more quickly and efficiently and in a way that benefits you. So in a way, I kind of see it as, you know, sometimes meditation, like a sitting meditation, we're taught that we're supposed to imagine our thoughts as a cloud that just passes by or as a bubble that just floats away. And we're taught to release those emotions. But I think that there's something very different that's happening when we're connecting with Mother Earth because we are allowing those emotions to flow energetically through us. We are uh, honoring the wisdom that they have for us, the wisdom that our emotions are allowing us to tap into, which is our thinking, our beautiful thinking. And the fact that we have control over what we choose to think, that we can manage our thoughts, all right? This is so important. And it is a lifelong practice, okay? So I know that it can be really challenging to be with certain emotions, of course, I do not want to 
experience a lot of grief. I have experienced a lot of grief in my life, but I have also experienced that I can be feeling grief and allow it to move through me and move on. I can honor that grief, not dismiss it, and I can know later on that it's okay, it's safe, I am safe. I am able to experience that grief without completely coming apart at the seams. That it can, and it's not about control, it's about the allowing of it. It's about the allowing and recognizing that you have the ability to, uh, you know, bring your awareness to the thinking, the thinking that is creating that feeling for you. And you have the ability to generate a new thought about that situation, about, for instance, my mom's passing, that I can generate a new thought, like, I, am, I miss my mom so much, I wish she was here on this walk with me, and yet she is here with me. I feel her with me. I am open to experiencing this walk with my mom, my mom who is joining from the spirit realm, my mom who is always with me. So this is just one example of how we can allow, we can observe as we are with nature we are allowing, we are allowing thoughts, we are allowing feelings, and we are becoming more powerful, stepping into that place of a gentle practice of observing ourselves so that we can heal ourselves, know more about ourselves, and experience greater peace, the peace that already lives within us. So I hope that that resonated for you. I really want to reiterate that this is a lifelong practice. This is something that it is a practice and it is something to be practiced with gentleness with yourself, gentleness and compassion, because inevitably there will be thoughts and feelings that arise that come to the surface that are challenging, that are difficult to experience. And the more that you allow for this practice, the more that you practice this practice, you will be able to move through those difficult thoughts and feelings and you will come away with so much greater wisdom about yourself and so much greater connection with your power that lives within you, the power of your presence, the power of the peace that you are reclaiming. All right, so now I just wanted to end with a brief meditation to really ground this for you, all right? So ah, taking some nice deep breaths. Bring your awareness to your heart the entry to your beautiful soul. You might bring your hands there or just your awareness. And welcome your soul to guide you in this practice that is meant to be gentle. Welcome your soul's love and compassion and unconditional support of you as you become more and more aware throughout your days of the feelings that you are experiencing and once you're aware of a particular feeling to take one step back and to think what is the thought that generated this feeling just to become aware of that, that link between your thoughts and the feelings that you experience. Invite your soul to guide you and assist you and support you in this practice. And breathing in the energy of Mother Earth, taking some nice deep breaths, 
taking in that abundance of air that is so vital to us in every way that is provided by the earth, by the trees. Feeling how that air allows for greater flow, allows for those feelings to flow through you, to be integrated in your awareness so that you can tap into the wisdom that is available to you through your feelings and your thoughts. And also welcome your soul to help you in releasing any thoughts, any feelings that no longer serve you. Welcome her in guiding these energies to be returned to the earth, to be transmuted into life-affirming energy that will benefit you and the earth. And taking a moment to hear any message that your soul has for you. Anything that has come up for you during this teaching today. And just hear your soul's beautiful, loving, and compassionate wisdom. And ending our meditation with sending so much gratitude to your beautiful soul, so much gratitude to your heart, and to Mother Earth for all that she provides in every moment to support you. I hope that you enjoyed this meditation. I hope that you enjoyed this teaching. If you're not yet on my email list, I encourage you to click the link in bio and you will receive a free guide to five native plants that offer healing textures, as well as information about how to easily incorporate them in your garden space. It would be so lovely to stay in contact with you through my email newsletter as well. So I encourage you to sign up for that if you are so guided to. And I look forward to seeing you again next Thursday at 10 a.m. Central. I will be changing the time to a different day and different time in the beginning of June for my weekly lives because of um, school being out and the kids being home. So I will let you know about that updated time and day next week. But until then, I hope that you have a lovely week. It was so good to connect with you today and take good care. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.